Welcome back. Let's flash back a year ago. Norwalk was up 18 and a half on Glenwood in the 3A semifinals. Looked to be a lock. Glenwood stunned the Warriors in the second half to deny them a trip to the title game. Today, Norwalk is back in the semis, needing to be beat Clear Lake to get to the tomorrow night's 3A championship. Bowen Bourne looking to again lead his Warriors to a victory hot off of a 40-point performance on Wednesday. Clear Lake showing they came to play early. Drew Enke, the three to get the Lions up for early, but here comes Bourne attacking the bucket, shows the speed, gets it to go off the glass. Then Tyler Johnson gets in the mix, hits his lone shot of the first half for three. Back to Bourne, the junior showing off the range, one step in and pots the three ball. He wasn't done there. Another from the top of the arc. His dad was in attendance today, and I know he liked what he saw at the first half. Bowen with 19 through two quarters, but Clear Lake kept pace. Andrew Formanick there with the hoop and the hack three-point play. It was tied at 31 and a half. Second half, late third quarter. Clear Lake building up a seven-point lead as Formanick hits the three for the Lions to the fourth. Norwalk making their final push. Scott Anderson, the steal, turns it into some offense. He'll lay it in for two, and he wasn't done. Here he is with the loose ball bucket down low, cutting the lead to just one. Then it's Bowen Bourne's turn to step up the drive and step back jumper. That's pure. He had 32 points. Those two, his biggest, putting Norwalk up one. Now they put it away. The feed to Tyler Endress, and the big man doesn't miss from there. They salted away at the charity stripe. A full team effort for the Warriors, handing them a 61-54 win over Clear Lake. To get to the state championship, it's a group effort, and um, a lot of times, sometimes it doesn't seem that way, but, um, you know, this whole group, even the bench guys, you know, they're cheering you on, calling out screens and stuff, and so um, there's a lot of stuff that goes unnoticed, um, and that's, I think, why we're still playing. We talk about it all the time. It's a 32-minute game, and so it didn't matter what the score is, and, and we've been down at halftime. We've lost games, you know, this year, and so... I think our perspective was we're, we're going to just keep grinding it out until that last horn rings and we just got to keep trying to make plays and it's one possession at a time and um, I thought defensively we made plays in the fourth quarter and that was the key to the game. Oskaloosa taking on winner set winner faces Norwalk tomorrow night. Xavier Foster and Cole Henry ready to go. Oski up one in the second quarter until Dawson Forge steals it, lays it in at the near end. Huskies up one, down one again and again. Defense turns to offense for winner set fast break. Great feed to Forge. He finishes at the rim. Winner set fans like what they see. Foster, though, with the two handed flush down low. This one was tied at 28 at halftime. So jump ahead, second half. They start to expose that size advantage down low. Cole Henry in the paint gets the bunny. Winner set, though, not letting this one go. Casey Young, the lane at the near end. Winner set within two, but the Indians go back down to Foster. He's going to go with the good old fashioned hook shot. Five point game. Winner set, though, able to get this to a one point lead. And they're attacking off of the steal. Great feed to the lane, but Foster with four fouls gets the biggest block of the season. Oskaloosa able to put this one to bed at the free throw line, and they're ready for another shot at the 3A crown tomorrow against Norwalk. Our story's always been uh, unfinished business. Uh, that's been our motto all season, and uh, I guess the Hawkeye Conference is the best conference in Iowa. Here's the deal. Last year, um, I had these cameras in my face just like this, and they said, you know, you have another chance next year. Um, what are you going to do to make it back here? And I said, we're going to work really hard, and uh, we're going to do everything possible, and I'm not going to lose again.